Welcome! I am the Moonshin King of the Century. A while back I did uh, part 1 of 30 things to do and know about Seoul, South Korea travel guide. I got about 10 minutes in, in fact, but I stopped right there. Um, it wasn't an overly popular video, uh, but um, it was requested for a part 2, so here we are. Um, Starting from where we left off pretty much and uh, Let's continue to learn about our culture and our pride three two one go Now later that night we actually met up with Hien and she showed us this traditional style Korean restaurant And this is something I highly recommend to you is to find a traditional meal mm, Traditional Ever Traditional meal is all very cozy and remind you of ancient women and uh, ogres and many mythological con uh, contradictions and contraptions and conjectures of you. And it reminds you of extremely old people and smiling, grumpy or faces of every kind. So I recommend for sure. Everyone's taking their shoes off. The great thing about it is that it'll stretch... Ah, that's the thing in Asian cultures. They take their shoes off before are uh, going into a house, uh, usually. The... about respect! Respecting your elder and respecting your house! Taste palette. You're gonna be trying things that are incredibly spicy. You're gonna be trying plates that you would normally consider to be hot plates, but they're gonna be given to you as cold noodles or cold soups. You're gonna be trying foods that you probably didn't even know existed. Sitting on the ground, some of us... And that's the great thing about traveling. To ancient worlds, you get to taste very extraordinary flavor. You get to eat cuttons, you get to eat dogs, you get to eat horses, you get to eat uh, snakes and um, uh, snails and mushrooms and uh, peacocks and cows um, and very creepy vegetables of the highest order. Let's continue. Cover our legs folded. Some of us are not flexible enough to fold our legs, so I just got my legs completely Stop straight. Or just you. Just me. They have been trained from birth to cross their leg. That's why they're very acrobatic. And that's why this stiff, stiff white guy is very useless in this household without a chair. He is like an ancient guy compared to these. An ancient guy, uh, an ancient woman from. Uh, from an Asian country is the equivalent of a of a twenty year old man from uh, the West. <laughs> ho ho ho! It's so good. I didn't love every single piece that I tried, <laughs> but at the end of the day, because you have so much variety, you do find a few key pieces that you really enjoy, and that's what travel's all about. Pretty sure that meal was about ten dollars per person, very <laughs> affordable, and we ate so much that. Death. Well, I literally had to drag Katsy out. She ate a bit too much. Death! Now, another big thing that defines South Korea and Seoul is definitely their drink. That's another thing to be careful of. If you travel, they might be feeding you the most poisonous venom ever. And you would have no clue because you are ignorant to their ways. You are ignorant to their cookies. And you don't know your Trojan from your horse. Drinking culture. They know how to drink. One of our nights out with Hien, she taught us about soju. Basically what it is, it's a clear spirit typically distilled from rice and grains, usually around 20% alcohol, and this is the most popular drink in South Korea, hands down. Not only is it popular, it's actually the most drank drank in the world. Drank. On average, a Korean will drink about 13.7 of these shots every single week now i'm not here to make whoa they could give the russians a run for their money and their tanks make any judgments but now on to the next point you don't just stop there at the soju soju is just like the pure form of the drink but what better way to celebrate than to make it a bit more of a social drink? The best no! way to do that is to make it so many. What that is, is basically take your soju and now mix it up with your beer. Wow! And you've got a so many. Evolution of the midget spinner! Distortion, manipulation, 
fusion of the highest degree. So good. It's like the perfect compliment. There's tons of different ways you can mix it up, but the way that Hien had taught us was either to take a chopstick, a fork, a utensil of some sort, and basically just jab it in, <laughs> up and down, up and down. And right there, you have your first soma. Now, not only do you need to know the drinks you're gonna drink, but you also need to know the rules of the game. When you'll be having like a full dinner like this, people will be- I am fine drinking the milk from the chicken. Thank you very much. Basically be cheersing every five minutes, every 10 minutes. Every soju bottle has a number between 1 and 50 underneath the lid. What you can play is the guessing game. I know the number. You're gonna guess Oh, it. so it's not an age rating then. Uh, this drink is for 5 years uh, only. This drink is for if you're 50 only, 20 only, 2 only. And I'll tell you if it's higher or lower. In this case, we're gonna play. They get to give away an entire drink. Uh, okay. It's higher. 23. Yes! Bravo! Yes, yes. Bravo! Another way to play it is that when you pull out Rest the in from peace the soju, to me. There's often a long aluminum little tail. If you twirl it up, make it into a harder tail. So if you break it, the person to your right has to drink. They're in I don't have to do nothing. The loser is going to drink a whole so many. Then you will die. Yeah! Death to you. Ah! You the tea to me! That much more fun. For all my team get lost ladies, you're in luck because South Korea is a cosmetics heaven. Katy went absolutely crazy from the different skincare, facial The land of beauty. Well, judging from their music videos, I can pressure on, on this uh, entitlement to the greatest skin in the world. Imagine South Korea is the place and fashion. Now, not only did she have fun with it, we also both went and bought some set of eye contacts. They don't what? change your vision, but they do change your eye color. They change the size of your pupil. I don't know about you, but I was under the impression colored eye contacts were not that uh, unordinary to get from your local uh, vision uh, shop or whatever they're called. Spec savers. All this for $20? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so weird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so scary. Oh. We do look like a normal woman. No, I look scary. Alejandro hasn't seen me, so I want to film his reaction. He won't notice. Hi. Oh, he noticed. <laughs> this is one of the widely accepted beauty cultures here in Korea is to get colored eye contact. It's gonna match my shirt. But how do you know if they're colored or not? I'm so scared. I just hate putting things in my eyes. I know. Oh. No, 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 no. She's gonna help me. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, I mean, no, no. the <laughs> no, it's okay. the ones I saw on the wall just looked blue or green. I mean, there are people with blue or green eyes, as far as I'm aware. Unless there's no one with naturally blue or green eyes in Korea. I don't know. Do you know? Have you met a Korean lady with green fingers and a blue brain? Tell me to you. I think I got it. No. I can't. Did you do it? No, just Cry, baby. I'm gonna hold my breath, okay? Okay. Why are you holding your eyes like a crab? <laughs> Boo! I had to give up. I couldn't. On to the next note. That is that Korean shopping is some of my favorite. I have found so many unique clothing pieces, statement pieces, and the awesome thing is they can be found actually relatively affordable. Like I said, the so music videos a couple different areas show great fashion. One of the many designer areas is Gado Sugil. This is one store I really liked. They have some super cool trends that you will not find in North America. And this store right here, it's called Around the Corner. It's about mid-price, but they have a huge selection of awesome Korean clothing. I want to find unique statement pieces that don't break my wallet, that are relatively affordable, and that's where I found my best Look at that sparkles on the building. Hongdai has so many incredible 
hidden shops. Some of them are underground. Some of it's actually knockoff, but some are just truly original pieces at a relatively low price range. Show me your secrets. I got some Velcro shoes. They're back, everyone. Bring back the elementary school fashion. Everything's shocking. I never wore those in elementary. Hats 20. Really awesome jacket for like $30. So the cool thing is you can negotiate with the different stores. Some of them that are more like pop-up shops. Leave some room in your luggage and you'll definitely leave with some great value. I also just remembered one thing that was a little bit weird about the shop. You're there. fleecing mm -hmm. them of them of their good there's no small, medium, large, typically quite baggy, that's the style in Korea. And one thing I particularly struggled with is that often you're not actually allowed to try things on. Mm -hmm. And they actually said it's because of makeup. But I'm a guy, so I guess maybe Korean guys wear makeup. I don't know. I shopped so hard that when I had to leave... Can't they check if you're waking, wearing makeup before you try it on? I don't know. Can't they do a brushing test on your body? Uh. Korea. I was wearing about 10 bundles of clothing on top of me. My luggage was like Why? 15 kilograms overweight. Katy has like eight jackets on, four pairs of shorts. Why? On in most circumstances, I would say I look like an idiot. But honestly, in Korea, I kind of just look like a K-pop star. I'm looking pretty fresh. Got some denim over denim. You look nothing like K-pop star. You wish to you. You wish for sure. Ladies, watch out. This is going down as the most stressful thing. Idolatry! Oh my gosh. Most certainly one of my favorite things about Seoul was the food experience. It is Color, like the no rainbow cake. You know where to go. And luckily we had an incredible Korean barbecue where it was all you can eat. It was reasonably priced. So you take a bit of lettuce, a bit of salt, a little bit of spice. Gonna wrap it up. Bon appetit. Oh, we are not in France! This is interesting. It's like this delicious creamy dessert cup. What is the uh, South Korean version of Bon Appetit? That would be much more appropriate. If you know, tell me below. It's so good. Everything looks so good. I can't remove them. Perfection. Very spicy. He's it's made it so and he's, he did like this. But no, it's like... It's a lot spicy. It's very spicy. It is, yeah. Is she a crazy woman? There's something insane about her behavior. That was one of the best meals. We spent about 14, maybe even 13 US dollars per person. <laughs> I think that's incredible value. If you've never had this before... You rich snob! You rich snob, for sure. It's done right. It'll blow your... Da! Okay, so as an ad has just arrived, I think that's a good place to stop our crimes. That is the end of part two, indeed. Um, I hope you found that not too uh, uh, irritating to your cultural uh, sensitivities, however. I found this uh, very interesting to you. And if you ever want to go to South Korea, then say hello to you and send me a card to me and I will burn it and say a prayer to you so that you can bring me back lots of good gifts to me so I can uh, give us tea and cookies and uh, lots of nice cakes that smell of bacon and ginger and lovely, lovely cinnamon with a hint of blueberry and rotten, 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 rotten peas. So, anything you can expand on here from what we witnessed, anyone knowledgeable about the crimes in Korea, what we are witnessing from this guy, tell me if you've been, tell me if you want to go, tell me if you have family, farewell, my moonshins. And if you have no family in the world, you will be the greatest Munchen of all. Uh, take care, my Munchen. If you like potatoes and green chimps, that is. Da! Thank you.